And now moving on to video game news, Jump Force has added Yugi, mother flippin' king of games, Moto, to their roster. Okay, I have said before, and this was on a Matt Rantz for our On Our Those Guys Play YouTube channel, but I forgot what it was Matt Rantz for. It might have been Microsoft that actually showed this off, uh, showed this game off. I wanted it from day one. Now, looking at this roster, I'm going to want it more. Also, as we're looking at this roster, I do want to mention that this news might not be super duper new by the time this video comes out or this podcast comes out. But remember, when I'm recording this, it's new-ish. And let's see who's playable so far. So, uh, I wanted to talk about when Vegeta was announced, but I was unable to at the time. Uh, and then it was too old by the time I actually did the next episode. But Vegeta's in the game. Of course, Goku, Frieza. Like, our, our there's certain characters that are like, oh, of course we're in the game. But when it comes to Vegeta, as much as he should be in the game, I was worried he'd get shafted a little bit. So, uh, let's look at this. So, for we have Naruto, we have Naruto and Sasuke. For Dragon Ball Z, we have Goku, Frieza, and Vegeta. For One Piece, we have Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Blackbeard, and Sabo. So, I'm not uh, caught up with One Piece. So, when I hear the name Blackbeard and Sabo, I'm like... I know Blackbeard from the anime, I think, like seeing his face once, but I'm super far behind. Like, I have not even gotten to Anetu yet or Anel yet, so I'm that far behind, guys. Um, and so Sabo, I'm like over my head, just right over my head, no idea. Uh, for Bleach, we have Ichigo Rukia, and they picked Aizen as the villain, which he's iconic, sure, but I don't, I mean, hmm, I guess... Yeah, I guess he's the... Uh, yeah, I guess without spoiling a bunch of other stuff that happens later, he's kind of the most iconic villain. Yeah, but, I mean, he is the most iconic villain. But, no, it's just interesting because when I think of Bleach villains, I'm like, no, but there was... And then it's like, that was a group that eventually became good guys or if the bad guy died and so we never saw them again. It's like, no, but then there was also... That was filler. But there was also... That was filler. But then that... Nah, now nah, was filler. So there's <laughs> so a bunch of filler villains. Um, and Hunter x Hunter, we have Gon and Hisoka, which I don't know who Hisoka is... I think, actually, no, Hisoka, uh, purple hair, I think, yeah? And Gon is the main character that I know. Uh, Light and Ryuk are also in the game from Death Note, but it, it doesn't say here that they're in the game that you can, like, you can play as them. That's strange. So apparently they're not playable characters, but they're in the game. Are they, like, I know that you could use uh, Ryuk as, like, a support for Light in, um, what was it, in uh, Jump uh, Superstars, the one for the DS. Uh, Ultimate Stars? Jump something something? Uh, but anyway, this really does excite me, especially the fact that I'm wondering what Yugi is going to be able to do, uh, if he's going to, and by the way, actually, I should note, this is not Yugi, this is the Pharaoh. This is the Pharaoh! This is not Yugi. Yugi would never have his palm out that way. Um, I don't know, it's just so funny. I, but no, I'm really excited about this because I... We haven't gotten a game like this, and I talked about this on the Matt Rants, we haven't gotten a game like this, with these anime characters like this, for a console. And you know some people are going to say, but there was Jump Victory and stuff like that on the PS3, PS4. Yes, I haven't played it. That's one. But some people have all said bad things about it. I haven't heard good things about it. But we haven't had something like this in my mind since Battle Stadium Dawn, D-O-N, which was a game that was released on the PS2 and uh, GameCube, which, if you don't know, Dawn standed for Dragon Ball... One Piece, and Naruto. Um, so, and that one I've heard pretty good reviews about. So when it comes to, and yes, I know, Ultimate Victory Stars Plus came out, but again, I've heard mixed to negative reviews. Um, so having a game like this that also looks as good as this, oh, God, beautiful, beautiful. So I cannot wait for this game. It says it's coming out in 2019. It doesn't say when. I just, I'm going to throw my money. I just need to know when I'm throwing my money. Also should note that, yes, the game was called, the, the one that I keep on messing up, J-Stars Victory VS Plus, versus Plus. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I just, oh, apparently uh, Spike Chinsoft also developed One Piece Burning Blood, which was shipped out in 2016. You might, uh, if you like that game, so I imagine if you like that game, you would also like this game as well. If you didn't like the fighting in that game, you might not like the fighting in this game. I want to see some more uh, gameplay, though, because when I saw the trailer for it, it clearly wasn't gameplay, it was pre-rendered stuff. So I want to see some more uh, gameplay. Also, I should note, Yugi Moto is voiced by Shinsuke Kazuma, and I want to see if that's the same. Hopefully it's the same voice actor 
from the Japanese, uh, the original Japanese version? Yes! Oh, damn! It's, it's him! Hey, they got the original Yugi back. That's actually great. Uh, or, you know, Pharaoh slash Yugi. Um, what I'm interested in is if we're going to get an English version of this game. Now, that's something. Oh, oh that'd be very interesting. You get, a, you get Dan Green. You get uh, Sean Schimmel. You get, um, or Schimmel. You get um, Chris Sabat. Who else would you get here? You get, oh, Johnny Young Bosch. You know what? Why do we even need those other voice actors? Johnny Young Bosch can just be all of them. We can get Johnny Young Bosch as Light, as Ryuk, as Gon, as Naruto, as Sasuke. He actually fit very well, Sasuke. Uh, Blackbeard, Sabo, Aizen. Oh, and of course, Ruki is in the game. Johnny Young Bosch can be Ruki. He'll be great as Ruki. Um, no, but all jokes aside, though, even though I know this is going to be in Japanese with English subtitles, I, ju I think that would be the saddest thing, actually, for me. Uh, including all these characters and not having an English dub, when it, I know it would be difficult, but as long as they are, I'm pretty sure all of these actors, other, yeah, no, all of these actors are near studios that they could go, hey, can we rent out, a, you know, a company, especially one as big as Bandai Namco, could be like, you know what, let's rent this out for a day. Uh, how about, you know, Brad Swale, let's get him to dub a few lines for Light. Because I don't, it's a fighting game. I don't think they're going to have that many lines in the game. If they do, if the entire game is, like, narrated by, like, Light and Ryuk, I get it. Right? <laughs> I do get it. Uh, I will, I will do Ryuk for free. Um, but, uh, when it comes to, I will not do that for free. My terrible services will need to be paid for. Uh, I can do a better Ryuk, just not, I need a lot more water. Um, uh, so... When it comes to... But it's a funny thing, too. When it comes to looking at Dragon Ball Z and One Piece, they're the same cast. They're in the same location. They're in Dallas? Fort Worth? Um, but uh, just get just get them. Just get them in. Just bring them right in. Uh, so you, And for Bleach, yeah, I know that they're in L.A., I believe. But again, uh, same thing with Naruto's cast. It's like if you can get them for video games, just rent out. Especially the same... That's another thing, too, I should also mention. Uh, Bandai Namco makes the Dragon Ball Z games as well as the Naruto games. Come on, just rent out the same studios that you normally do. Uh, you know, like the same studio um, location to, you know, to, uh, to record lines. You can do it, come on. Honestly, honestly, I would wait a year. If, if this game's gonna be only in Japanese, I would wait till 2020. To pay, uh, to pay, to actually, well, I would be paying for it, to pay to play this game in English with all the English voice actors. That would be a heck of a lot of fun for me. I'm sure some of you guys don't care. Some of you guys are probably like, shut up, dubby, with subs before dubs. Um, and I did see Death Note sub before I saw it dubbed, but when it comes to some of these anime, uh, especially some of the other heavy hitters they might bring in, I mean, wouldn't it be hilarious if they bring in JoJo to see. Uh, John Young Bosch be Ichigo and have to be Jonathan, that'd be great. I don't know about you guys, I'd enjoy it. So, yeah, uh, fangasming aside, uh, Yugi's in the game. So, heart of the cards this, and he will wreck your shit.